right. Okay, all right, all right, okay, all right. Hey, everyone, Anthony Fantano here, Internet's busiest music nerd. Hope you're doing well. And it's time for a weekly track roundup. Gonna recommend some tracks to you guys. Maybe you'll enjoy them, maybe you won't. Either way, I'm still gonna do it. All right. A couple things linked down below in the description, like usual, our Turntable Lab link, as well as our Patreon page, where you can find some extra awesome bonus monthly content that supports the channel and everything that we do. Also, shout out to our sponsor, the good people over at The Ridge. They make these awesome, nifty, metal, plated wallets. They still do it. They haven't stopped. They fit nicely in your front pocket. I've been rocking mine for a while now. I think well over a year at this point, and it's still holding up nice and good. Uh, not that I'm leaving the house uh, a whole lot of these days, but still, points a point. Uh, hit up that link down below. <laughs> Use promo code Melon for 10% off, and I guess uh, pray to God that the pandemic is over soon. Okay, all right, all right. Let's get into the worst tracks this week. We have quite a few. We have quite a few. Uh, yeah, this has not been the best of best weeks. We have we have plenty of great tracks. We have plenty of best tracks, but there were uh, a lot of ones that uh, disappointed me quite a bit. Let's get into them. Uh, bam! This new one from Withan with Withan Withan with Oliver Tree. When I'm down. Um, I mean, I was kind of excited to hear new material related to Oliver Tree because, from what I understand, he—I he, I guess he retired. Retired. He's—he's he's not. He's out of music, but maybe not out of music because he's in this new thing, um, on this track. But yeah, I was not down with the instrumental to this at all. Uh, someone clowned it during the live stream and re really sent me to a, a new dimension of laughter, saying that uh, uh, the instrumental is like a. Um, not paying for Spotify premium type beat, L like literally the instrumental sounds like the advertisement music for some kind of ad playing in between whatever music you want to hear on Spotify. And it was just so dead on and I, I wanted to die. I was laughing so hard. All right. Uh, new music from Salem. Yes. Witch house outfit Salem is back after years, years. Their debut was just like smashed critically, uh, by a lot of reviewers. And um, not too long after they broke onto the scene, uh, the project kind of disappeared. And now it has uh, reared its head once again uh, with this new project and this uh, little uh, teaser, the single Starfall, which I think sounds very subpar. Production is generic, uh, vocals are annoying, and the whole thing just doesn't really... I don't know. G give me much of anything. I, I honestly, I, I kind of made me nostalgic for the old stuff, even though I never even enjoyed the old stuff. Um, <laughs> not not a great comeback. All right. Um, we also have this uh, new track from Sabibi and Joji, uh, Pollen Singles. The title of this one is Gates to the Sun. It's just a very chill, forgettable track that seems like very apparently thrown together. Uh, we also have this new track from Lil Pump, which I guess has been a song that he's been waiting to put out a while. Um, super subpar, forgettable, Life Like Me, I believe is the title of it, which I, I can barely even uh, be bothered to recall. And um, I don't know, he just sounds totally defeated on this verse and Beat is kind of subpar. The hook is okay, but uh, at this point, Little Pump just kind of sounds like he doesn't have that old energy anymore. He's just kind of fallen off, and it's uh, it's done. I'm assuming. Uh, moving on from there, Holy Justin Bieber, Chance the Rapper, beautiful gospel type beat on this one. Uh, but beyond that, uh, we have a pretty corny Chance verse, and Justin Bieber's vocals don't really do a whole lot for it either, in my opinion. All right. Uh, unfortunately, Deftones Genesis new single uh, has landed in this section as well. Not really caring for the blaring genty guitars and the way Chino is kind of screaming his brains out all over this track. Not that I'm, uh, you know, uh, against a hyper aggressive vocal, but I guess his approach is just uh, uh, very annoying on this particular song and performance. I don't quite get the appeal. Maybe you do. And uh, ugh, 
this new track with Busta Rhymes and Anderson Pack. Um, you know, not that Busta doesn't have some great, you know, bits of flow on this one. And Anderson's uh, intro isn't bad, but the production is terrible. The production is awful. Awful production. Who the hell produced this beat? Well, I mean, whoever the hell produced this beat. Um, not a fan. Not a fan of this beat. Uh, not doing the song or really anybody on it any justice, in, in my opinion. Total mess of a beat. But I, I do like the cue to Spy versus Spy, uh, you know, nod and, and reference on the cover. I'm a big uh, Mad Magazine fan, so I do kind of uh, appreciate that quite a bit. All right, uh, and we also have this new track from Blood Orange with Park Hai Jin, so the Call Me Freestyle. Um, it, it's mixed terribly. There's not really much more I can say about it other than that. It has some admirable ideas to it, but the mix is just so off, it's really hard to enjoy any of them, in my opinion. All right, let's move on to the tracks that I thought were meh, not blowing me away, but certainly were worth a mention. Uh, we have a new Mountain Goats track over here, which I thought had some... Uh, pretty witty lyrics about fame titled Get Famous. Not necessarily the most novel or refreshing tune from John Darnielle and company, but uh, the lyrics are thoughtful enough, I suppose, when it comes to this topic. Uh, we also have a new track from Avalanches featuring Sampa the Great, Tricky, and Denzel, who kills it on the track. It's just the beat is subpar and the mix isn't all that great either. Uh, Sampa is completely buried in the beat, can barely make out anything she's doing because the mix on this song is so bad. Come on, you guys, you're the avalanches. Like, the sound quality should be better than this at a bass line. Uh, Sufjan Stevens, Sugar, new track, liked the very meditative progressively intensifying electronics on this one. Uh, instrumental was cool. I thought it lasted a decent length as well. You know, it's a bit of a seven minute monster, but uh, not super crazy about uh, uh, Steven's, um, you know, come on and give me some sugar <laughs> refrains on this one. I don't know. Maybe they'll grow on me when I hear them more, but uh, it wasn't really uh, crazy about them on first introduction. Uh, not blown away by this new Saba track, Mrs. Whoever, or the one with Denzel Curry either, where I thought him and the production really carried. Uh, but this one, I don't know. I just don't really feel like his voice, lyrics, or flows blow me away in any way. I mean, look, I'm trying to be as open-minded and patient here as possible. There are a lot of people who jump down my throat constantly for not like, you know, um, hoisting this man's music up onto a pedestal and talk about it like it's the greatest thing that's ever been recorded. Um, I just don't feel that way. I think it's okay. I think it's worth keeping tabs on. I think there's potential there. He seems like he has good foundational talents uh, in everything that he's doing, but I'm still yet to hear something that really kind of, you know, goes the extra 10, 15 miles to really blow me away. I don't know. A new track from Paul Bear in preparation for their new full-length LP, The Quicksand of Existing. Um, heavy riffs, slow pace, solos were okay, dragged on a little bit in my opinion. I don't know. Wasn't super crazy about it. Uh, we also have King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard, Straws in the Wind. Um, to me, I wouldn't have necessarily guessed this was King Gizzard if you hadn't told me. I think the vocals are a little subpar and the recording is maybe just a little too raw. I mean, I do recognize, you know, um, some of those uh, odd, almost like desert, uh, I guess, melodic modes that they're playing in. Um, that are really psychedelic and surreal and, you know, a little strange, but um, I don't know. Songwriting didn't necessarily blow me away. Again, vocals didn't do too much for me. And uh, while I do think, um, you know, the acoustics of the song were nice, were they captured as well as they could be in the recording? Not necessarily. Uh, we also have a new track from Future Islands, bit of a slow burner over here. Moonlight is the title. Uh, it was okay. It was okay. Maybe a song I'll care for a little bit more. Uh, once the new record comes out, but uh, you know, it's a very low key simmering type of ballad uh, We also have a new track from echo 2k whose chord progression reminds me a lot of Beirut's Nantes for some reason uh, the uh, very high-pitched vocals on it are uh, a little beautiful, too uh, I think the song is kind of one-dimensional, but it's uh, got that drain gang vibe to it and uh, We also have this new track hooligan from baby Keem. Uh, who I was expecting a little bit more from on this track, considering he uh, recently skipped those double XL ciphers. And um, yeah, I mean, I think there were a few lines here and there that stood out to me, and that fa 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 refrain was okay, but production 
mega underwhelming structure of the song. Uh, barely there, you know, just kind of seemed like a thrown together demo or something like that. Expecting something just a little bit more hard hitting from Keem at this point, either, you know, in terms of energy or even uh, emotion. All right, we have uh, Anita with Cardi B. Mike Towers, Me Gusta, a bit of a banger with a Latin twist. It's got a great energy. Uh, I would say decent production too, but am I going to come back to it? Is it super original? Is it, uh, uh, I guess, uh, interestingly produced or doing anything that's uh, refreshing at this point? In my opinion, not really, but I guess it's always cool to hear uh, more songs in this style, in this flavor making waves. And here we have the best tracks of the week. Again, these are linked down below with everything else that I have been talking about. And yeah, we do actually have quite a few tracks to go over here. So uh, pay attention, pay attention. Uh, We have a new track from Young Gravy, Gas Money. Great banger, great flows, witty, funny lyrics, and uh, top-notch production too. Excited for this new Gravy project. Uh, We also have Feel Away with James Blake and Mount Kimby from Slow Tie, one of his most emotionally potent songs ever. James Blake kills it. Production is awesome, dynamic, multi-phased. It is a very powerfully uh, sad track. We also have a new track from Sampa to, um, excuse me, Sampa the Great. That's the Time's Up remix with Jungle Pussy. It's raw, it's bars, it's pure, uncut, old school hip hop energy. It's quite nice. Uh, We also have Diamonds, Sam Smith. They slay it on this track. Vocals, fantastic. Awesome dance uh, pop production. That's great. And um, yeah, the hook is uh, amazing as well. There's diamonds. Loving it. Loving it, loving it. Uh, We also have Rico Nasty, Own It, a very clubby banger from her. Uh, Recently, I've found that Rico, I think, has been struggling here and there to find kind of a, excuse me, a poppier lane to sort of exist in when she's kind of backing off of those hyper-aggressive tracks, because you can't do that all the time. And uh, this one over here, again, has a very danceable, funky beat, smooth flows, very hooky, hooky, sticky, sticky refrain, uh, where she doesn't necessarily need to go into that auto-tune lane or anything like that. It almost feels like a bling, you know, a bling era rap banger from the 2000s, and I think she uh, owns it. She owns it. Uh, We also have Rot from Pup, Pop Punk, Emo twist, like usual, raw savage performance, good songwriting, the band is consistent as hell, you have to admit that. Uh, We also have Raw Hide from Nitty Gritty and Little Texas, bringing together elements of hard style, and I think Gabber too, into this amazing, like, EDM country fried banger that uh, feels like... I don't know, snorting every drug up your nose at once. Uh, We also have Mariah Carey, another track from her upcoming Rarities collection, a beautiful, slow-burning ballad with a wonderful and stunning vocal performance out here on my own. Love this one. Uh, We also have Jamed featuring Freddie Gibbs, the title of this one over here. I'm forgetting Glimpse. Yes, it's a banger. Great flows. Freddie Carey's. Freddie Carries does a fantastic job. Uh, Verses stand out. If you're a Freddie Gibbs fan, listen to it just for his verse. Uh, But still, I think overall the song is good. Uh, We also have this uh, new track from Health Cyberpunk 2020. It's a heavy... It is, I would say, thick, almost shoegazy. The mix is oppressive, and uh, I'm liking it that way. I'm liking it. Pretty uh, psyched for this upcoming record of like collaborations. I think it's going to be pretty cool. All right, uh, Clark over here, a Tom York remix of the uh, uh, Electronic Music Project. Uh, Isolation Theme is the song that is being remixed over here. And uh, Tom's approach here is quite abstract, uh, quite experimental. I'm loving the textures he packs into this remix. And uh, I don't know, if you're looking for a, what I'm looking for is somber vibe. Give it a listen. All right, uh, new track from Carcass, the long and winding beer road. Um, Melodic solos, harmonized all over this thing. Uh, Harmonious riffs as well. And uh, good grooves, great energy, multiple phases. It's just a good all-around, uh, you know, badass death metal track. All right, uh, we also have this new track from Baby No Money. Backwards is the title, I believe. And it's just another one in a string of bangers. He's just putting numbers up on the board uh, leading up to this new record of his. It's just got a great energy, smooth flows, cold-blooded delivery and vibe. Next, we have Alice Longyu Gao with I Heart 
Harajuku with Fraxium, which is uh, an amazing bubbly hyper pop banger, sweet hooks, uh, amazing high pitched vocals. It's just neon colors flying in your ears, rainbows spraying out of your eyes and uh, blood vomiting out your mouth all at the same time while having an orgasm. All right. And uh, Action Bronson has another teaser over here with a dusty, dirty, off kilter, insane beat hologram. His feature's okay, but Mayhem Loren kills it. Uh, Action Bronson as well, I think, performs on this track quite impressively. And uh, I don't know, excited for this Bronson record. Looking forward to it more than I have a Bronson record in a while. So, hmm. fingers crossed. And uh, that has been the weekly track roundup, everyone. Hopefully you got some good recommendations out of this one. All the songs we talked about, again, are linked down below, like usual, along with a link to our sponsor, Shout out once more, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. See you in the next one. Anthony Fantano, Weekly Tracks, uh, forever. <laughs>